A lot of times adults um, talk about youth behavior as the problem, and we actually see, young people are telling us that part of the name calling, harassment, and plain old discrimination is coming from their teachers, which is quite embarrassing and shameful as an educator myself. So part of the role is for teachers to stop the exclusionary and discriminatory kinds of practices that they may not even intend, but they say sometimes really negative things about gay people in their class. Uh, so that's part of the issue. And then the other part of the issue is teachers need to step in and intervene when they see young people doing the wrong thing. And if they're empowered to do so, they will. Most teachers that I talk to want to intervene, but they sometimes feel handcuffed by conflicting policies. And then the final sector are the, the teachers who just don't realize that it matters. They just don't realize that anti-gay, name-calling, put-downs, exclusions, bias affect students' well-being and their educational trajectories. And so that's another kind of part of the, of the puzzle. But finally, we need strong policies that will help teachers feel confident to do that work. And right now we have kind of a generic policy at the state level that instructs our school boards what they need to do. And if we could just make one small change in that policy, in that legislation, that statute, um, it would make a significant difference. It would provide teachers with the clear direction that when they see something wrong, they intervene. So that change would be to simply enumerate the anti-bullying policy, to state clearly that of course we're protecting all students, but we want to be reminded that when you have bias um, or bullying based on actual or perceived sexual orientation or gender identity expression, teachers must intervene.